back in the wood again. I think it's the 4th of July, Independence Day, for America. They used to be part of our Commonwealth, you know. I've just traced part of my family tree. Well, not just done it. I found it within the last 12 months, but I just saw I'm exploring it further. A president of America called Dendin, his surname was Taft. And he shares a 13th great-grandfather with me called Thomas Underhill. And uh, it's all very interesting. These are all part of my medieval ancestors going back to the 14th century, linking up with the Stuckvilles, the Peshes. He shares all those ancestors. Oh, and we've got a lot of a lot of them emigrated to what they called New England a long time ago, so around about 1530s, a whole wave of them went. I've got a, an ancestor called Mar Sir Martin Stuckville. He went on, his friend was Sir Francis Drake, and he sailed with him to the Americas for a while. And um, I think he might have even purchased some land in Virginia. It is mentioned somewhere. Anyway, around about the same time as Sir Martin Stuckville, who of course didn't go, didn't uh, take up residence in America, but could probably saw its potential. And several centuries later, the Stuckvilles did emigrate big time to America, the land of opportunity. Anyway, I trace this present. I can actually see myself in him. It's really weird in his face. A bloke version. And an, an older bloke as well. You know, like, I'm older, so I could see him. Don't know what he looked like as a young man. Well, I, actually, I do. He died in 1930. He was president of America for a couple of years. I haven't looked in depth at everything about his presidency yet. I'm just digging the surface. He's my... 13th cousin, times one removed, and uh, and it has been researched, his tree has been researched, and I'd already done a lot on my own tree, and then in pops a parallel tree, so uh, that's really interesting. Really, really interesting. I love it, you know, when that happens. And I found another very good connection recently um, through the DNA testing on my brook tree. Um, my brooks, who could have been tied up with the gunpowder plot um, here many moons ago, could have been that brook family. Anyway. That's just that's such a lot of family tree I'm doing. I'm, I have to stop myself. As I'd be on it all the time. I make myself come out and do these walks, to reflect, to share, to think, to rest. I do use them for reflecting a lot. Like I said, not every single video is placed on YouTube. Or I might do a bulk sharing one day. Um, because I'm up here such a lot that, you know, only ardent wood fans would be interested, or followers. Oh, I thought something on the air then. I'm so paranoid about bloody ticks now after being bloody bitten. Um, badly, not long ago. I don't know where, where or how that happened. Anyway, I keep jumping subject to subject. It's a beautiful summer's day, the 4th of July, 2019. I'm making a nice gentle stroll through the woods. A place I used to call my garden when it was really on my doorstep. Um, and if I had the opportunity, I would move back closer. Even though I like the beach, I prefer the woods. I'd be, I'd be back up this way if, it, if I had the chance. Higher up, better oxygen, cleaner air. I'm all right where I am. It's quite clean air, actually, because it's right near the sea. 
so we do get lovely fresh blustery winds but um, you do feel the cold more because of that and I have got a nice flat I've got a lovely calming view from my lounge and bedroom um, and I get the sun most of the afternoon so that's really nice I've not directly overlooked which is also very nice a big open space with nice buildings in the distance I can watch the seagulls soaring high I love it I do love it it's a nice little place I'm just hoping it's going to keep me warm in the winter um, it's got faults with its brickwork being sandstone they don't retain heat they, have, they can let in damp so uh, though it's right in the summer I'll just keep my fingers crossed it's going to cost me it's already costing me I've got to sort my electric out it's already costing me quite a bit this tariff on this sort of quite rare electric company they might not be rare but they're not one of the big common ones um so basically I might have to go with British Gas it seems to be doing the best tariff at the moment <sighs> I will try and find out a bit more about this other one Western Electricity or whatever it's called it's so funny some weeks <sighs> it hardly moves the electric and I'm doing the same stuff every day putting the kettle on cooking a bit of dinner maybe washing machine twice a week um, heating up the water the size of a small casserole dish for doing the washing up I haven't got electric hot water on purpose to actually help me save money so I heat up a pan every day to wash up I don't wait I don't have to wait for it to boil just enough to I do often though because I like to scold my crockery I do like to scold it <coughs> We're at a junction here at the moment. Um, that take you down, down there, which were, take me down to the little roads, which really used to lead me to my little home. And what I've decided today is um, I'm not going home yet. I'm going across, straight across, on this particular route. And I'm doing a little video. I don't know, I think my video is not very good at the moment. I think they're very jumpy for some reason. I'm trying to hold the camera still. Obviously when I stop and just move gently, is they're all right. I've got another nine doxycycline tablets to take. Um, then I've got to have some more blood taken. Um, they're trying to kill anything off that might be related to limes. Um, because it's got to be sudden. I mean, I, I, what happened to me over the last six weeks? came I was like I was really fit you know I was I moved all my stuff I I didn't feel bad or anything until I got all those bites a mass attack I call it mass attack bites uh, like I was invaded by you know 50 100 ticks it was I must have gone into a nest or something um and it was really bad for three weeks I went I did do a, go to a doctor prescribe me stuff for fleas and um, bed bug, you know, all that sort of thing. Lie clear, I think it was called. And the same for my hair. I had to buy that separately for my hair. And I actually had to buy another tube of that stuff because I thought that's what it was. Well, I didn't even consider um, anything else. But then after about three weeks, my knees really started to ache. I started to feel really cold, getting cold sweats. Um, 
I'm sweating but cold. My knees were aching real bad. And they still do every other day. Actually, they still do. Anyway, the doctor decided we would just have a load of tests done. Going that way. We'd have a load of tests done to eliminate anything. Including, he said, we would do limes, because I'm a hiker. I'm always in the woods, I'm always in the hills. And I get bitten a lot. I do get bitten a lot, it's true. Um, especially in the summer, I get loads of, well, horsefly bites. The only thing that don't really bite me is mosquitoes. For some reason, they don't seem to like me, mosquitoes. So I don't know what it is about a mosquito, why they don't bite. But everything else does. I do, like I've mentioned before, think I could have been bitten 20, 25 years ago by a tick. I think I was infested by a tick when I rescued a fox once. We also had a deer in the garden once as well that my ex-husband cut up. It was a dead deer he brought home and its skin was lying in the garage for years around about 20, 25 years ago. So I think it's a great possibility I might have got bitten then. And I did early walks on the Quantox 20, 25 years ago. And I did have all sorts of weird symptoms and lots of bites all over my back. They were mainly on my back in those days. Loads of them. And I think they were tick bites, personally. I know they were. Um... But they, I even went to see a skin specialist, they denied it. But they wouldn't test. In those days, they were so reluctant to test you for limes. And uh, it is an expensive test, apparently. Anyway, what happened was, they never tested me for it. I kept saying, I reckon I might have been bitten by a tick. They, wouldn't believe, they just wouldn't believe me. And this is common, apparently, where it was. They are starting to take notice now to get on top of it because they need to find a vaccine to kill off this bacteria. The worst scenario is that if you have had it, say, oh, I did get it 20 years ago, it's the secondary effects because you can the bacteria will eventually sort of die, although they can become de resonant deep in your joints or your nervous system. Um, but apparently it's very difficult then to treat these secondary effects which it does include neurological arthritis um, things like that and there's a couple of other pathogens that like associated with limes and apparently they said in the serological tests that they never found that that really long name beginning with B. There's two of them. They, that was not discovered. So they said that was good because that was one that caused a lot of bad conditions for people if they get it. So, but I mean, I'm still coming out because the thing is, if I'm going to be bloody bedridden, I just will get out and enjoy myself while I can. Um, I'm getting, I'm 67. If I stop walking, stop walking, my muscles are wasted away. And I live to come out in these places. This is what I'm talking about, my videos being reflections. And when I am old, really old and grey, right, I'll be able to sit in the deck chair somewhere and I'll say, oh, go and get me that audio pod or go and get, get me that little video thing so that I can hear what I was doing when I was 67. When I'm 117 I'll be saying that, right? I just love it up here, you know. I know I'm going on about ticks as part of wildlife. There's not a lot we can do about it. They're trying to survive. They've been here for thousands of years. They've been here probably before we were. Beautiful, beautiful. Squirrel 
was climbing up the tree. Peaceful, yeah. I just love the wood. This is a good time, you know. Early afternoon, before all the kids are out. People have done lots of walking in the morning and then again later. This is a good time to have it to yourself. Good time. Oh, I come. I know I live on the other side of town, but you know it's quite a hike. I know it ain't really a hike, but it is when you are getting older to come right from the other end of town, right up the past Tropicana, right up there. It's not a very interesting walk to get to the wood from there either. Not really. I usually don't mind doing it on the way back, though. I'll do it on the way back. That's not so bad. In the winter, I'll probably catch the bus back. Um, so basically, get up here and enjoy. Enjoy the wood. Sometimes I do longer videos because it keeps the continuity going of the walk. It does keep it going. This path's all in there, I know. I know all the paths. I've explored them all. I'm doing a skirting round the wood, coming up by the fort eventually. Um, yeah, like I said, in the winter I'll probably catch the bus out more, but I've done, done it today just to get over here. <laughs> Did run, I had to get a bus. And I get off at uh, Ashcombe Park and I have a nice walk through Ashcombe Park. Walk along the road a bit and then get up in the wood. That's the main spine of the wood there. That takes you down to Grove Park, where I'll be going a bit later.